corner. She wears the black trunks with the neon yellow trim at five feet four inches. She weighed in 114.9 pounds. She has an MMA record, two wins and absolutely no losses. Representing relentless grappling in MMA and fighting out of Columbus, Mississippi, Hannah the Hurricane Guy. And a crisp. Mr. Kane's her adversary fighting out of the orange corner. She wears the gray trunks with the neon green trim. She stands in at 5 feet 3 inches and weighed in at 114.8 pounds. She has an MMA record. Three wins, guess what? Absolutely no losses. Representing Team Relentless in Spa City MMA. And fighting out of Hot Springs, Arkansas. Maria Shasta, California. Angie Hoagland. Well, when you get pumped up before your fight, having Michael Kelly announce your name. I'm excited for this one. Absolutely. This is one of the ones that I find really hard to do. Nice straight right by by Hannah. Angie walking her down though, really doing well to control the center of that cage. Good little exchange there from both fighters. The Angie little she likes she's always having fun in the cage. She's smiling. She likes posing for the camera to show how great of shape she's in at 36 years of age. Better than me or you, I'm sure. <laughs> Definitely for me. Yeah, she's you work in that outside leg kick. Look at the wealth yeah, that's already starting to set up. you can already see that. Hannah's leg is just getting brutal here. She's got to start checking those. Nice knees to the to the stomach there by Hannah. Hannah controlling both underhooks. Definitely a big game changer right here. Now Angie, from there, you know, with some wrestling, you drop down to a double, you take him down. Angie's fishing. She's got one back. Looks in the, uh, She almost switched the position. That trip, though, the trip doesn't actually do people very much work in here. All that really does is tie up and commit that leg to that side. And just that much And easier. if a person has a wizard, an overhook on that side, you've got nothing to prevent yourself from going down. Absolutely. And it just makes you that much easier to take down. Uh, Hannah really kind of changing the pace on this, pushing her up again, wearing her down a little bit. I think it's a great strategy for somebody who's going to be a little bit more technical. And look at this Angie reversing. Hannah's still working those underhooks, though. That's a, kind of a unique thing. And then it's separate. Good. Angie's starting to walk her down again. But she keeps Hannah keeps throwing those straights right down the middle and has landed with them, but those kicks... Those kicks are adding up. One of the, the big thing I think Angie's really starting to try and set up is she wants to work that leg to make her switch a stance. Once that happens, once they start guarding the leg, your power is gone. You're in a stance you're not used to. I mean, you see those welts on Hannah's left leg. What do you do to defend yourself against that? You've got to check it. I mean, the, she's, she's throwing them at will now. Good exchange here. So check it, it's just simply bring your foot off the ground and raise your knee up so you're hitting the hard part of the shin every time you throw that kick. It's a, let's say it's like opening a door. You just open the door on your knee, let it slam in. It doesn't feel good, but it really doesn't feel good for the person throwing the kick. Hannah is not afraid to return fire at all, though. But when you hit that nice meaty portion of the thigh, those kicks feel great every time you throw. <laughs> it normally doesn't take very many of them. Good, good underhook work here for Hannah, though. Not letting that takedown come easy. Less than 30 seconds left in the round. A very close round, I might add. 